Hello guys, welcome to Mario Sunshine. I plan on doing this real quick, which should be the boss battle with Mecha Bowser. Okay. Mario! You know, Peach, you could just, like I said, you're in Smash Brothers, you could just, you could smack him from behind, set him off the screen. No? Okay, oh yeah, give me what? Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you, bro. I guess E. Gad programmed the whole island database into flood. Like he knows what every location is and all that. But he look, but he made like Professor E. Gad, the same guy from Luigi Mansion. Oh well. Hmm. Make a Bowser appears. Hmm. I, I don't know why, but at first I didn't think Bowser or Bowser Jr. were. Not gonna even be in this game, like especially Bowser. I thought Bowser was not gonna be in this game whatsoever. I thought it was gonna be like a whole Bowser Jr. type of thing. I don't know why. I messed that up, but oh well. Hey, look, this is just like Kennywood, or like a Nintendo version of Kennywood or Walt Disney. More like Kennywood, though, because this could appear nothing to Walt Disney. I think it would've been cool they made Bowser Jr. like, like he made them a separate character, but they could've made Shadow Mario the actual entity, cause look at Shadow Mario, like he'd be a very intimidating enemy. Especially how he just split the war like that. Just in my opinion, I think like maybe he should've done, they, made, they should've made him like a symbiote, like um, for um, Venom and Eddie Brock. I think that make a very interesting storyline. This is a okay boss battle to me, I guess. Again, you're so intimidating. Oh yeah, this is the part where you're gonna learn about Bowser Jr.'s relationship with Peach. Uh oh. Amazing, what a spectacle. Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great. Whoever hired you need a raise. I love how you played the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you. But it both look the same and stuff. Well, a director of this part, I want to ensure your success. How about I provide you with a hero of the vehicle? Well, he's an idiot. But like, he's the only person who recognizes that we look completely different. Well, well he says that we look alike, but like, he, he pretty much acknowledges that we're not the same person. Why can the rest of the people, why can the, at least the people with the shells on their back look like that? No idea. Oh, I didn't know I, I could activate the map from here, but here you go. The information about this place. Do, 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 Ooh, it's hard to shoot him from here. Wow. I never got home with those two missiles before. I think it takes like four bullet bills to kill him. Which if that's the case. Then this about be it. Wow. That was the very that was the fastest run ever in my life. Why wow, you guys get to experience it? Wow. Maria. Oh no, he's been jumping. Hmm, he's a blue Koopa like Tor that looks like a baby version of Bowser. What? Ooh, Bow Chica Wow Wow. No, that's how she had to think about it. So you told about the birds and the bees? Weird, look at that different weird lip syncing there. No, Peach, it wasn't him. It was Shadow Mario.
I really heard that Bowser Jr. just really threatened the old man. Because I can't imagine E guy being stupid enough to give an evil looking um Koopa, especially one that's the son of Bowser, something that could be used against Mario. Unless Bowser Jr. was like, excuse me, mister, I want to I want this paintbrush for my art project. I'm gonna end the video off for when I get this um shine spray. And again, Peach, you could fight. I don't feel sorry for you, not a little bit. I think you I think you beat a Mario and Bowser at the same time on Super Smash Brothers view, the show. And yes, Corona Mountain is the last level in the game. By the way, in the background, I never pointed this out in the other episodes, but look at the background of each level beside Corona Mountain. You can actually see, you can see, you can see like the other levels. Like you can see, you can see um, Galado Beach. I can see Rico Harbor. I can see, I can see this um, another beach and slash hotel level over there that that we didn't got to yet until we get Yoshi. But yeah. I like her jump being. Look at them raw graphics. Like, sure, they look a little bit outdated, but you could tell that they were good graphics. So I guess I'm gonna talk to Toe Worth. Since he's like Peach's um, steward guy, whatever, I don't care. And there goes Milky Bay. But yeah, that's for, but that's for the next part. No way I can know it's not. I'll be doing more missions for the peanut park. I'll talk to these last sea guy. The princess on the island. Pineapple or something. I, wait, I kinda shot over there to try to help, but oh well. Did you guys see like a giant bowser head fly to a volcano? I guess no. Alright, well she probably in the hot tub with green hot li liquid with Bowser and Bowser Jr. until the end of the game. Well, anyway, guys. I don't know. You guys have a good... You guys have a good night. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next part.